So, firstly, I think uh, it's a pleasure. I think to um, interact with all the finalists of uh, youth ideation. I think uh, I don't know how many. It said grade six to grade twelve, but whoever is from grade six, I think it's a phenomenal uh, sort of starting young and participating in a competition, uh, which is exciting and thinking about innovation and creativity. I think it's a fantastic thing. So, kudos to. Uh, um, uh, people from uh, grade six who have joined and being part of this finalist uh, as well. So I think uh, uh, there are a few things uh, that I kind of uh, early on I realized my selection of engineering versus uh, becoming a doctor somehow in the environment that I grew in you had two options you become an engineer or a doctor um, and uh, since. I would struggle to do biology well in ninth and tenth. Uh, I and was fairly good in maths, and I loved maths. Uh, I could spend hours and hours trying to solve uh, difficult problems, easy problems. I remember in ninth standard, I got exposed to something which is probably even the Treschenberg School of Mathematics, which which come up with simple short short. Uh, short kind of ways of coming up with how do you do, let's say, five sixty nine. If you were to do five sixty nine square, can you do it mentally? I mean, and how would you go about doing it? And uh, there are various math tricks. How would you go about doing a uh, seventy nine square, seventy nine cube? How would you identify? So I think I realized early on that math was something that I really love, and therefore engineering became an option. And um, I said, if I have to do something, I will try to do it from the best. So I think that's the one mantra I said that uh, if I want to do something, I will at least try to do it from the best, right? So so therefore preparation for IIT JE, I went to IIT Kanpur. Um, uh, so very strong rank in JE, and then post that, I mean, coming out of the school, also I realized that I wanted to. I got fascinated. I think every time I think about back in engineering, I mean, there is so much engineering around us in our every day to day life. We don't recognize it. I mean, every device you touch is designed by an engineer. Every component inside that device is designed by an engineer. So there is. So much engineering in our daily life. The TV, all devices are firstly designed by engineers. All the equipment that doctors use is designed by engineers. So, so fundamentally, engineers play sort of this uh, uh, background lot of work, which makes our life easier and exciting. And uh, kind of uh, a, whether it is healthcare, every single industry engineers touch the world, including the fact that this software on which we are doing video conferencing is designed by an engineer. So I think so that kind of increased, continue to increase my love for engineering and what we can create uh, to make uh, people's life better uh, in many shape. Or the vaccine was designed partly by engineer, by the way, as well. So I think there's so much uh, work happening on uh, biomedical engineering and so on and so forth. So, um, and I think uh, uh, over the last 20 years after graduation, I continue to, therefore, uh, whether it is entrepreneurship, whether it is uh, about working in a large organization and working on innovation, I think the strive is always about are there challenging problems that one has to solve, whether in the organization that they work or whether they want to start an organization where they want to solve a challenging problem. So I would say the, the key aspect is love for solving problems is what I would think. And the larger the problem, you should become more excited versus uh, uh, sort of afraid out of it. <laughs>